how did the idea of Fetty, like what inspired you and the team to say like, hey, this is the problem. How are we going to solve it? And then this is how we're going to solve it. Okay. So there's, there's Fetty Mint and then there's Fetty. So Fetty Mint is this open source protocol, a bit like the way Bitcoin is a protocol for the store of value. Lightning is a protocol for the transfer of that Bitcoin around at a low cost at high speed. Um, and also improves privacy on the, as a side effect. Well, Fedimint is a protocol for storing that value, at uh, custodying that value with incredible privacy in a way where you're using your community to have each other's back effectively. So they work really well together. Effectively, they're both layers of two. When your money's at rest, you store it in Fedimint. And when your money's on the move, you use Lightning, but the money is Bitcoin underneath both of those. So. So that's, that's the Fediment protocol. And that actually had its roots, well, actually, if you go way back 39 years with Chami and Ecash, and then, you know, 13 years or so ago with the invention of Bitcoin, and um, then uh, four or five years ago with um, Liquid's popularization of federation technology used for, um, Blockstream's popularization of federations was used for Liquid. When those things were combined, a number of... Um, incredible sort of cypherpunks and cryptographers for that we can combine these things together and take um, Chami and Ikash, invented by David Chaum in 1983, which was considered catnip for cryptographers, some of the best form of, of privacy technology out there, combine it with the best form of money, Bitcoin, which for the first time multiple people could hold. And then federations allowed you to sort of federate this Chami and Mint with Bitcoin as the backing money as opposed to US dollars, which was David Chaum's original attempt. So work started three or four years ago, and um, there were a number of projects running in parallel, but my now co-founder, Eric Syrian, uh, was working on one called Fediment. And um, about two or so years ago, Blockstream saw it, got really excited about it, started sponsoring him. And about a year ago, I saw it when I was, and I didn't mention this, I ran the UK's longest running Bitcoin exchange. At one point, it had 70% market share of the UK did the whole New York Stock Exchange, Gavel, and we were used as a Bitcoin GBP player. First regulated exchange in Gibraltar, all that sort of stuff, but that's the past now. But while selling that company, um, I was looking for a way of getting people off exchanges because I was getting increasingly concerned that there, was, there would be liquidity begets liquidity and there's going to be increasing centralization around exchanges. I could see this sort of Orwellian future where there's half a dozen exchanges, each with a billion users each, with full visibility. More, in my mind, just as bad as, as having CBDCs by countries, because this is where we're going to head up, going to end up with if we just carry on the way we're going. So we needed an alternative to custody on exchange. Now, the obvious alternative is first party custody, um, i.e., do it yourself custody, but if you just look at the numbers and if you look at the um, attitude to the people that we, are, for example, just that CoinFloor tried to, uh, and talked to to try to get to self-custody, we realized that with the best will in the world, you're going to get 5% of people, maybe 10% self-custody, but that still leaves 90 to 95% trapped in these exchanges. Um, so I was looking for a solution to get people off exchanges. I was at Hackers Congress last year. Um, I bumped into Eric. Um, we had a conversation. I suggested some of ide my ideas. He politely told me why they wouldn't work. And then he told me, I asked him what he was working on. He told me about Fediment. And he saw it as this incredible privacy technology, which it is. But with my, um, my exchange operator hat on, um, I realized that this was actually a solution to getting people off exchanges, if architected correctly. And that's where Fediment, I started getting involved. I started cheerleading it. Um, and I talked about it at Bitcoin Miami. That led to Alex Gladstein asking me to go to Oslo Freedom Forum to talk about it more. Um, and I then met some of the bravest men and women I've ever met, uh, opportunity to met, and, uh, who are human rights defenders and activists from around the world. You, you, you may have met, um, if you get to Ghana, I'm hoping you're there, you'll see uh, Farida Nabarema um, from, from Togo, for example, Fadi El Salamin from Palestine, Roya Maboub from uh, um, Afghanistan, 
the, the creator of the first Afghanistan all women's robotics team when women weren't allowed to you know to study and so on and so forth and it, the list goes on um, and they were all realizing that the problems and the challenges they were having around the world whether it was Latin America Africa or post-soviet regions of the world although they seemed very different um, and the authoritarian regimes and dictators that they were battling against seemed very diverse they all had a common thread those groups used weaponized money and through high hyper levels of inflation and many other mechanisms and so they realized that if they wanted to um, push back against these forces they needed to be able to control their own money so they weren't bitcoiners but they came to bitcoin because they needed to solve problems but they were running into scaling issues. They wanted to roll these out to millions of people at rapid scale in, in multiple of these regions. And what I realized there was that uh, only, only Fedi Mint could do that. And so it went from a, this was in May, it went from um, Fedi Mint as an incredible open source protocol that we were supporting and letting organically grow. But I came back on June the 1st, talked to um, a now uh, the co-founders are grown to myself, Eric, and Justin Moon, another in incredible soul. Um, I explained um, what I'd seen and observed and who I talked to. And we all agreed that we need to accelerate this. And so Fedi was born. And Fedi, Fedi's um, objective is to take Fedi Min as a base protocol and to accelerate the adoption of, of, of Bitcoin to billions of users over the coming years because we cannot wait. We have a technology that allows for the rapid rollout of Bitcoin with incredible levels of privacy, high levels of safety and direct integration with Lightning. So why are we waiting? There's no reason why. And that's where Fedi, Fedi's journey started.